Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Figures of Speech presented by me, Achal Jain. Few things about me, I am a student of English literature, a creative soul, an avid learner and after watching the video, you have to rate, review, recommend and share. Um, here we are with new topic, Figures of Speech based on utterance, um, sorry, uh, difference and again subcategorized into three, antithesis, paradox and oxymoron. So in this video, we will be covering all these three topics. Let's begin with antithesis. Antithesis, the literal meaning is opposite. So, uh, so um, the idea you can get is antithesis has something to do with the word opposite. Um, it is a rhetorical device and in which two opposite ideas are put together in a sentence to achieve a contrasting effect. Take this example, give me liberty or give me death. So you can see the two different, two fundamentally different and highly, extremely different ideas, liberty and death are put together in one particular sentence. So this is what um, antithesis it is. It is an idea of contrast parallel structure of the con uh, contrasted phrase or a clause. So, um, if, um, so you just read this example. Setting foot on the moon may be a small step, but for men, but a giant step for mankind. So, the use of contrasting ideas, a, a small step and a giant step in a sentence, in the sentence, it emphasizes the significance of one of the highest landmark of human history. So, small step and giant step, two, two fundamentally different ideas put together. So, this is what antithesis is. Antithesis uses parallel structure. So let's just read out this definition of antithesis. It says antithesis is the placing of sentence or, or one of its part against another to which it is opposed to form a balance of contrast ideas. So this is what antithesis is. The presenting of two completely different ideas in one particular sentence. Let's read out again few of these examples of antithesis. A free society cannot help the if a free society cannot help the men who are poor, then it can it cannot save the few who are rich. So you can see how many few poor and rich. You can see two completely different and contrasting ideas. Opposite words are put together in one particular sentence. This is what antithesis is. Now we have two black for the heaven and two white for hell. This is also an example for antithesis: black, white, heaven, hell. And now we have here words, um, pairs of words, which mean opposite, but they are placed together in one sentence: love and hate, good and evil, peace and war. So this is what antithesis is: placing of two completely different ideas together in one sentence. The purpose of antithesis: it is a literary device, and like. Uh, it is a literary device like antithesis uses words to convey ideas in different ways from common words and expressions of daily life and also it makes the contrast in order to examine pros and cons of the subjects under discussions and helps to bring forth judgment on that particular subject it brings it conveys meanings more vividly than ordinary speech and when the contrasting ideas are brought together the ideas expressed are uh, expressed are more emphatically so these are the these are the sole purposes of antithesis here are a few more examples of antithesis love an ideal thing marriage a real thing love marriage ideal real you are easy on your eyes but hard on your heart easy heart man proposes god disposes man god proposes disposes patience is better is bitter but the fruit is sweet um, bitter sweet these are all polar opposites creating the contrast ideas of and the different and contrasting ideas put together in one particular sentence so um here's the test you have to find out which are the incorrect examples of antithesis you can pause the video let's begin speech is silver but silence is gold give every man thy ear but few thy voice an apple a day is good for health Money is the root of all evils. Poverty is the fruit of all goodness. So let's just read them out again and find out which of these are the incorrect examples of antithesis. The first example is the correct example. We have uh, silver and gold, speech and silence both put together in one particular sentences, two different ideas. So this is an example of antithesis. Give every man thy ear but few thy voice. 
again this is an example of antithesis an apple a day is good for health we see no opposing or contra contradicting or contrasting ideas in this particular sentence so this is not an example of antithesis money is the root of all evils poverty is the fruit of all goodness money poverty and root fruit and evils goodness all these are contrasting uh, contradicting not contradicting actually contrasting words and different opposite uh, the words which means completely opposite so these i really hope you got the answers right this is not an example of antithesis let's um move mo move on with another <coughs> i'm sorry with my voice about my voice let's move on with another topic paradox what is paradox so um paradox overall it is self contradictory statements so let's just take let me begin here again with an example say take the statement i always lie so if the statement is a true statement that i always lie if this is a true statement that is that the statement could not mean it could not mean could not mean true because if i always lie how can the statement be true and if the statement is a lie if it is actually a lie then it the statement cannot be true because you see i always lie i really i really hope you have un you understood this let's read out this definitions paradox um is a statement that itself is a, is self contradictory often contains two statements that are both true but in general cannot be true at the same time a seemingly absurd or contradictory statement or proposition in which investigated in which when investigated may prove to be well found or true um let's let's see this example why is this boxing ring a square ring and square ring is usually round and square is this shape so um why is a why is it called a ring when it is actually a square object few more examples of um paradox let's read them out in marriage two people become one yet remain two i am nobody if you are nobody how can you be i to bring peace we must war the deceiver claimed all men all men are liars if the how can we trust a deceiver that all men men are liar so here is the test um you can pause the video let's begin in this segment you have to find out which of the following are the correct examples of paradox so let's read them the child is the father of a man she cooks good food he is a wise fool i can i can resist anything but temptation the child is a father of a man is a correct example of paradox because we see the self contradictory statement the child is a father of men a child cannot be a father of a man so it is a self contradictory statement which makes it a paradox she cooks good food we see no contradiction in this particular statement so this is not an example of paradox he is a wise fool if he is wise how can he be fool so again this is an example of paradox i can resist anything but temptation so again this is an example of paradox if you can resist how can it you resist temptation so temptation is what you have to resist and you cannot resist you can resist anything but temptation so again this is an example of paradox uh, let's move on now we have um, with us oxymoron let's begin what oxymoron is it is oxymoron is the placing of two opposite ideas that are joined to create an effect a uh, create an effect however the however the contrasting words however the contrasting words phrase are not always glued together to just one word say say take this example living dead and kindly cruel something living and dead two completely contradictory ideas placed together and same goes for kindly cruel and um same goes for kindly cruel because two two different kind and cruel they are two completely opposite and different ideas placed together in one sentence and i as i said it is not uh, it is not compulsory to glue them together the contrasting ideas may be spa may be spaced out in a sentence so example in order to lead you must walk behind so if you have to leave you have to be the one standing in the front but in order to lead you have to walk behind so i really hope you can understand the two the two completely contrasting ideas placed together in one particular sentence this is what oxymoron is a common oxymoron phrase is a combination of adjective preceded by a noun of the contrasting meaning say like saying living that kindly cruel here are few more examples of oxymoron let's read them out proud to be humble proud humble pretty ugly pretty and ugly 
the big baby open secret passive aggressive op uh, original copy alone together defining silence clearly confused living that all these are examples of oxymorons the purpose of oxymorons um, oxymorons produce a dramatic effect in both poetry and prose and it uh, say just take this example sweet sorrow it is again an example by william shakespeare it provokes our thought and it makes us ponder on the meaning of of the contradicting ideas contradicting ideas so sweet sorrow put together it just ponders our thought so the use of oxymoron adds flavor to our speech this is the purpose of oxymoron and also in our everyday conversation people do not use oxymoron to create some deep statement as i just mentioned uh, sweet sorrow but to show wit but to show that you know people can use oxymoron as a figure of speech they can use it in daily lives too so here are again few examples let's read them out tragic comedy seriously funny awfully pretty foolish wisdom liquid gas so tragic and comedy two different ideas serious and funny again two different ideas awful and pretty again two different ideas so all these are two different ideas placed together in one particular sentence or glued together by just by just two words so this is what oxymorons are two completely contrasting ideas placed together here is the little test we take after every we, we have it every after every topic so you can pause the video let's begin which of the following examples are correct examples of oxymoron larger half is the correct example because half is already um a part of something which can be considered small now and large is already big so larger half is an oxymoron alone together is again an oxymoron because it contradicts if you are alone how can you be together rather silent is not an example of oxymoron because we see no two contradicting ideas and nor do we see any contradicting ideas in amazing view so this two are also not examples of oxymoron found missing missing is an example because if you have found something uh, because found is when you find something and missing is something when it gets lost so found missing place together is not an exa uh, is an example of is an example of oxymoron so um here's the difference between antithesis and oxymoron because one can get confused between these two let's read them out antithesis is a literary device in which an opposition or contrast of ideas is expressed using parallel grammatical structure and oxymoron is a speech of which in which um apparently contradicting terms appear in conjunction oxymoron contains two opposite words and antithesis contains two opposite words clauses sentences or concepts and in oxymoron the opposite words or antonyms are to be noted together and in antithesis opposite words or antonyms are not always to be noted together these uh, these are the difference between antithesis and oxymoron thank you for watching the video don't forget to like i'm um, sorry rate review recommend and share and do let me know down in the comment section if you still have any queries regarding the video um, that's all for this video thank you